everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. I am so excited about today's video. This is going to be a really late update to my palette of the month series. So today we will be talking about the palette that I had for the month of November and I will be introducing to you the palette that will be my palette of the month in December. I know this video is really late, I will explain you a little bit later why, but I'm really excited to film this video. But before getting any further, I just want to say that I was inspired to do this series by the One Month One palette series. That cat from Kids Knit Started. I will each month pick one palette that it will be a palette of the month and my goal is to use each shade once from the palette and create different looks. The palette that I had picked for the month of November is the Elf Opposites Attract Eyeshadow Palette. What I thought I would do is that first I will give you my overall opinion and review of the palette, the formula, the color story, things like that. Then we will go through the palette shade by shade Shade, I will let you know how many times I used each shade and then I will show you some looks before introducing to you my December's palette. So let's first talk about the formula of this palette. I got to say that e.l.f. has really improved their formula. I have had some of their eyeshadows in the past but I didn't really love them. I used to think that their eyeshadows are good for the price, but that's it. I really didn't think they compare to my higher-end eyeshadows, for example, or to the best affordable formulas like Colourpop or BH Cosmetics. I think those formulas are incredible, so I didn't think that e.l.f. compares to those. But I totally do think that they have improved their formula a lot. This is great formula. It's not just good for the price, it is great. The only thing I will say what comes to application is that for me at least this formula does not work at all if I set my eyeshadow primer. Previously I used to always set my eyeshadow primer but nowadays it depends on a formula and I have accepted that some formulas just apply so much better if you don't set your primer and this is one of those formulas. It needs a sticky base but even if you do have sticky base the um, Eyeshadows blend out absolutely amazingly. The shimmers are so metallic on your lid. You don't need to use a finger, you don't need to use a wet brush, just a dry brush if you didn't set your eyeshadow primer. I tried setting my eyeshadow primer once with this palette and I kind of had an idea that it wouldn't work and that confirmed my thoughts, but I wanted to see how it performs. It wasn't good, it was just patchy, I had to build the eyeshadows up, but it still was patchy and what comes to the shimmers, they didn't stick to my lid at all. So definitely if you struggle with ELF formulas, I would recommend you to not set your eyeshadow primer. So I will say I'm really impressed with the formula and based on my experience with this palette, I would definitely be interested in trying their The New Classics palette mainly because that's kind of like my kind of color story. But then let's talk about the color story. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this color story. And I kind of knew it when I bought the palette that it's not necessarily the most cohesive color story. But the reason I bought this palette was that there are some shades in this palette that I don't have anywhere else in my collection. So I wanted to add those shades to my collection. And also I wanted to try this new ELF formula because so many people are raving about it. So because of that I bought this palette, but I knew it wouldn't be my favorite color story. That being said, I have to say that I dislike this color story even more than I thought I would, because in this palette and with this color story, I think there are so many things wrong, small things, but when they add up, this one is not that user-friendly palette for me. It's definitely not an everyday palette, and I can see in future this being a palette that I would mainly use together with all other palettes and because of that I am considering depotting this but I don't think I will do it quite yet but at some point I'm probably going to depot this. So the first thing to me that is kind of like wrong with this palette is that a lot of these shades I don't think go with the other shades from the palette. 
So with a lot of these shades, I would actually need to reach for another palette or my singles to create a complete look. I'm not typically someone who likes to combine shades that are too far from each other. Sometimes I do it, but oftentimes, especially on my everyday basis, I don't like to do that. And talking about everyday, to me personally, this is not that everyday appropriate palette. Well, when I look at it, I do think it's a bolder palette and it's kind of like medium to deep what comes to the tones. There are not that many light shades and there are not really light lit shades to me. And then uh, one more thing that I want to say about this palette, what I don't necessarily like is the cool side. So I like to think about this palette as a warm side I really do like the warm side. There are some beautiful shades that we are going to talk about a little bit more once we go through the shades, but the warm side I do really enjoy. I do think warm eyeshadow looks are easier for me to get to look flattering on myself and it's easier for me to create everyday appropriate looks from warm eyeshadows. That being said, I do like some cool toned eyeshadows but not the cool tones in this palette. I personally do think the cool side is too smoky and too cool for my liking. If I think about cooler toned eyeshadows that I would like, I would imagine myself liking, for example, the Anastasia Sultry palette or the Natasha Denona Glam palette. But yeah, those are kind of like my issues with the color story. Why I'm not the biggest fan and why I, at some point I can see myself depotting this palette. Now let's go through the shades and talk about how many times I used them. So in total I used this palette for 11 times, today being the 11th. Usually I would go through the shades in this kind of order, row by row, but today we are going to go from up to down by columns because I want to talk about the warm shade first. I think that makes more sense. So let's start with the shade Fresh. I have used this for three times. The shade Fresh looks like your typical kind of like brow bone highlight lip shading shade. However, to me personally, this doesn't work like that because it's too deep for me to highlight with it. It looks in the pan that it's pretty much the same than my skin tone, but when I swatch it and when I apply it to my lips, it's actually a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I didn't realize it before I tried it for the first time. I applied it to my brow bone and it didn't look right at all because it's too dark for me. To me, this is something that I would mainly use to blend out other eyeshadows. I could set my lid with it, but as I said, I don't like to set my lid when using these shades. Then this said Bold I used once and this is a stunning shade. It is a beautiful rosy metallic shade, but this is an example of a shade that, in my opinion, the other shades in this palette don't complement this. And if I wanted to create a beautiful look where Bold would be the star of the show, I really feel I would need to reach for other palette or my singles. The shade Saucy I used twice and this one is a yellow, it is kind of like a cheesy warm yellow, really pretty shade, typically something I would mainly wear during fall time. Then there is the shade Spicy and that one I used for three times. So Spicy is from all of the shimmers in the palette my favorite because I think it's the most neutral one and it is a stunning shade but I will say on my everyday basis it is a little bit deeper what I would prefer to wear all over my lid. Next is the shade Cheeky that is quite bright peach and this one I wore only once. Then there is the shade Daring and this one I wore only once again. I think this is a beautiful shade. It's actually really similar in color to the Antique Bronze from my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The only difference is that this one is truly a metallic shade when Antique Bronze is like a subtle satin, but the color is quite similar. Then there is the shade Sassy and this one I also only wore once. I wore it together with 
cheeky, but sassy is a lighter peach. Tender is the shade Happy, and this one I have worn three times, and this one is my absolute favorite shade from this palette. I am wearing this today all over my lid, as well as in my crease. So this is a beautiful mustard, and this one is really unique to my collection, when this Soshi set is something that I have in some other palettes, but Happy is something that I really don't have anywhere else, and Happy is one reason why I wanted to buy this palette, because I wanted to add some mustard into my collection, because I absolutely do love how mustard eyeshadow looks, so definitely my favorite shade from the palette. By the way, I forgot to say when I was talking about the formula that this is quite a powdery formula and there might be some fallout. So even though I haven't used these shades that many times, I can definitely see some wear in them. So this one totally is like a soft and powdery formula. And then there is the shade Warm. This one I have worn for five times. It is a warm, a little bit deeper brown. I am wearing this today on my outer corner, blended a little bit into my crease. So it's a really basic shade I would wear in a lot of different looks. So that's why I have gotten so many uses out of it. Then let's talk about the cool side. This shade Low Key I used twice. I was pretty surprised that I used it more than once because usually I hate shades like this. This is one of those duo chromes that has a white beige and a lilac pink shift to it. And I absolutely hate this shade. I I have had these previously in my collection and I have never liked them. That being said, for some reason I do like this Loki shade a little bit more than the previous ones. I'm trying to look if this one has hard panned. I think it has a little bit, but not as much as the other shades like this I have had. There is something in duochromes like this where they do hard pan really easily. This shade Withy I wore the most. I have worn it for 10 times. I did wear it once on my eyes, didn't really like it, it was a little bit too dark. However, almost every time that I have used this palette, I have worn this one on my brows, because this one is the most perfect brow powder color to me. It is this cooler toned brown. The shade Easy Going over here is probably, if I have to say, my least favorite shade from the palette, unfortunately. I have used it once, and this one is like a really blue-based purple. I just don't like it. I wish it was lighter. If it was like a light, matte, lavender type of shade, I would appreciate it so much more, I would think it's easier to wear, but this one is, I don't know, I don't think it looks flattering on me, and it's really hard for me to create something wearable from a shade like this. The shade Calm I have also only used once, but I do quite like this shade. This is a matte grey, and I really do like this one, because it's quite light, so to a silvery look, it's a nice transition shade. Then the shade Smooth is a deeper brown. This one I have used for three times. So from this cooler toned eyeshadows, this is the one I used most on my eyes. This one I do think is a really wearable shade. Then the shade Wise I have only used once, but I do really love this shade. I think this is a beautiful deep matte forest green, and this is something that I didn't have in my collection, and this is one reason why I wanted to get this palette, because I wanted to add a shade like this into my collection, and yeah, I really do love it. Then the shade Clever I only wore once. It is a nice top, but it's a little bit too deep for me. I do love top eyeshadow, but I do prefer the top to be quite light, so that it's still wearable, because then when it is too deep, like this one is, the look is just really smoky. Then the shade Chill is another purple. This one is really similar to the easygoing shade, but this one is too shimmery, and I have worn it once. I used it together with the easygoing shade, and I hated the look. I was supposed to film that day, but I hated the look so much that I didn't even want to film. And I am sorry, I know so many of you love cool tones and love like purple eyeshadows. And that's great if they suit you. I just don't really love them. I do enjoy purple, but these are just too cool toned for my liking. So yeah, don't really enjoy the shade Chill. And then last but not least is the shade Genuine. I'm sure I said it wrong. This is hard for, for me to say. I should watch from Google how to 
pronounce this. Anyways, it is a matte black. I have only used it twice. I'm a little bit surprised because these kind of shades I do use as liner often. But yeah, that is how many times I used each of these shades. So I used with it the most because it's the perfect brow color for me. But if we don't count with it, the shade that I used most on my eyes is warm. This is just a really useful shade for me to wear in the outer corner. And then Happy is my favorite shade. I would say Happy, Wise and Spicy are probably my three favorite shades from this palette. So yeah, those are my thoughts about the shades. Then I still want to show you a couple of looks before talking about my December's palette. I will say I don't have a picture from all the looks because if I really hate a look I don't want to take a picture of myself wearing the look. So the first look is kind of like my signature look where I do have a neutral eyeshadow look going on and red lips. So in this look I do have happy in my crease, warm in the outer corner and then I do have fresh all over my lid. So it is like a really basic matte neutral leading yellow eyeshadow look combined with a red lip. So my favorite type of look. I wanted to create something a little bit different with the peachy shades Sassy and Cheeky. So I wanted to combine those shades to silvers and create a look inspired by the Juvia's Place the Nubian Tree Coral. I do have the Juvia's Place the Nubian 1 and the Nubian 2 and although I know I don't need the coral one, that's kind of like something I want a little bit just because the completionist in me wants to collect the third palette too. But I wanted to create a look where I do have the peaches in my crease and then some silvers on my lid. And I did create a look like that and I got some compliments and I think it was a fun look to create. That being said, this kind of look I would create once a year and then I don't want to recreate it because I really don't think it's something wearable to work for example or it's not something I love so much that I would actually recreate it. And also by the way in this look I am wearing the shade Smooth so the deeper matte brown in the very outer corner. Then one of my favorite looks that I created is where I combined the green shade wise to some of the warmer shades. So in this look I do have happy in my crease. I think I have also a little bit of warm there. I do have in the outer corner and outer part of the lid the shade wise and then spicy so the beautiful bronzy metallic on my lid. And I was pretty happy with this look. I don't think it looks the best in the pictures because I'm going to be completely honest. Creating looks like this is kind of like out of my skill level. I do think I'm quite good at applying makeup what comes to nice everyday appropriate looks. I can also combine something a little bit more dramatic. But when we get to the area of colorful eyeshadows where I would need to combine some opposite shades in one look. That is where I'm struggling a little bit. I haven't practiced it that much and I was worried how this look is going to turn out. So I was pretty happy with it. Then the next look is this silvery smoky eye. So the mattes in this look are from this palette. So I'm wearing the set Calm, the grey one in my crease and then I deepened out the look with the genuine set, so the matte black. The silvers in this look are singles and then I also do have here some silver glitter eyeliner going on. These type of looks are not necessarily favorites but they are something I like to create once in a while. Okay, this next look I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'm still going to show it to you. But over here I do have the red shade bold all over my lid. I did combine it with some more neutral mattes. I think why I don't necessarily like this look is that I'm also wearing a red shirt. So that's kind of like a little bit too much red. And then do I have other looks? No, I don't have other looks except the look that I'm wearing today, of course. So today I'm wearing just the shade Happy and Warm mainly. And I have also blended it out just a little bit with the shade Fresh. But I've got to say this look of today is my favorite. Just because I do love the shade Happy so much. It's for sure my favorite shade from the palette. As 
That's really everything I want to say about the e.l.f. palette, so let's move on and let's talk about the palette that I will be using in December. So my palette of the month for December will be the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Christmas Morning Eyeshadow Palette. I am so excited. So now let's talk about why this video is this much late. I'm filming on December 12th, so we're almost halfway through December already. I ordered this palette in the beginning of November when this one had been restocked. I was just going to their website and I noticed it's in stock and I decided to get it. This one has been on my wish list for a couple of years, I think. I think this palette was first released as a limited edition palette two years ago and it sold out, of course, but then they brought it back last year because people were asking about it. Finally decided to get it and I'm so excited because I do absolutely love how the palette looks like. I mean, look at that. I did order this one in the beginning of November, but it took over a month for me to get this palette. I am not too mad about it though. That's not unheard of with international shipping. I will say I was a little bit worried if I would get the palette before Christmas or not, but I decided to wait and I'm so glad I did because this is such a right palette for me to be using in December. I'm super excited to be using this palette. I will try to film at least one look with this palette. By the way, I don't know if I remembered to say that I did film a Get Ready With Me where I used these elf eyeshadows. So I don't think I mentioned that, but I will link to get ready with me down below. So there you can see how these eyeshadows actually apply. But I also do want to create a get ready with me using this palette. I think I want to film one on Christmas Eve actually. But yeah, that's really everything I have for today. I'm really excited I have started to rotate through my collection. Even though as you saw with the e.l.f. palette, I only created a look from that 11 times. So. Yes, I could have used it more, but I'm still panning and I'm trying to find a balance between panning and between rotating through my collection and so far this seems to work really well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what kind of eyeshadow look you are planning on wearing on Christmas or are you planning on wearing any eyeshadows at all? As I said, I will create a look from this palette and you will probably see it on my channel. But I'm curious to know, do you want to create a look at all, like do you want to be without wearing makeup, do you want to create maybe something neutral with a red lipstick, do you want to create red look, green look, what are you planning on doing, I want to know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.